Look at this Sanrio Mooncakes! Today, let me show you how I made this mooncakes with a twist. Hi Kamis, it's me! Cook with me Sanrio Lava Mooncakes filled with taro paste and salted duck egg yolks. Mooncakes are a traditional delicacy dedicated to the Mid-Autumn Festival which falls on the 15th day of the 9th month of the year based on the lunar calendar. To welcome the Mid-Autumn Festival or Tsong Chu Tse in Mandarin, let me share to you this unique recipe to you, Kamis. They are expected to have a buttery, crumbly, cookie-like skin with sweet taro and ube filling with the salted egg yolk center when caught in the middle. And what's unique is the itlog na pula or the famous Filipino red salted duck eggs used for this mooncakes. There is a legend that started this animal tradition, but I'll talk more about this after we finish baking. Let's start baking now! This is easy to make. For reference, this is for a batch of around 48 mooncakes. So prepare your ingredients by proportion. First, we'll prepare the sweet taro ube filling. This is what we'll need. We will have to peel the taro root with a vegetable peeler or a small sharp knife like this one. It is preferable to also wear gloves for this step because raw taro can leave our skin feeling waxy and itchy. If you are also comfortable or use this taro preparation, we can also opt to peel it as it is. Cut this taro into 1 inch cubes. Place the taro cubes into a pot, then wash it with running water for 3 rounds until clean. Wait for it to come to a boil. Transfer it to low heat and cook it up until tender to the fork. About 20 to 25 minutes more. Remove the taro from the pot using a fork, potato riser, or vegetable masher. Mash the taro cubes into a smooth paste. If you find this a bit difficult to do, you could also transfer the taro to a stand mixer and use a paddle attachment to beat the mixture until smooth. Now, add the glutinous rice flour. It is also preferable to use a weighing scale for the sugar as we don't want it to be too bland or too sweet. Add in the white sugar, then full cream milk, and also salt. Mix it up. Add in 2 cups of water. And mix it up again until it forms to this consistency. It becomes well combined and the paste is already smooth. Taro mixture is usually lumpy. So to make it smoother, sieve it well. After sieving it up, add in the oil. Any oil would work. But for me, I use olive oil for healthier cake. Mix it up and add a few drops of ube extract until you reach your preferred color. Others would like it a light color like the other taro filled desserts, but they could also use an ube shade for a more contrasting shade within the mooncake. Transfer the filling to a pot once you have checked that the mixture is not as sticky anymore. If it's still sticky, it will get better after chilling because of its glutinous texture. Use a clean wrap to lock in the moisture while chilling it for 2 hours. Let's now prepare the innermost filling, the red salted egg yolk filling. Here's a summary of the ingredients. On a clean surface, grasp the egg in your hand, then tap the egg against the surface. Use your thumbs to separate the eggshell where it's cracked. Slice the egg in the middle. Since the egg is already cooked when purchased, we'll manually separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Now transfer all separated yolks to a siever. Sieve the egg yolks to make it smoother then set aside. In a pot, add any American cheese, preferably quick melt cheese, then add the butter. Transfer it to high heat for now until we slice the cheese into tiny bits or until it melts. If quick melt cheese is used, it will be a faster process. Now add the orange color gelatin powder. Make sure it isn't flavored or else it will affect the taste. Pour into whipping cream and mix. Add the full cream milk powder and then add the salted egg yolks that we prepared earlier. Now add the refined white sugar and mix. You could also add vanilla extract for more flavor but this is optional. Mix until it reaches this consistency. Transfer to a container that could be used for freezing. Freeze it for 4 hours before using. 
Now, this would be the mooncake wrapper. Please prepare the following ingredients. After preparing, let us sieve the cake floor. But if you're able to purchase a pre-sifted cake floor, lucky for you, you can skip this step and already transfer it to a stand mixer bowl. Add in the salt, then the refined white sugar, and the cornstarch. Mix it up. Add the vanilla extract and whipping cream. Also add the butter, mix it again until butter combines. Now for the eggs, we will be separating the egg yolks from the egg white. I prefer it to do it this way so that it would be not as messy. Place in the egg yolks. Mix until well combined. Do not overwork the dough. You could also add orange food coloring if you'd like to have a better wrapper color. Now, this is the consistency we're looking for. Use a clean wrap to lock in the moisture while chilling it for an hour. While waiting, it is assembly time for the filling of a 50 grams mooncake. There are many other sizes, but please refer to this proportion chart when weighing. Chilled taro ubi filling is much easier to work with, so we'll be needing 17 grams of taro ubi filling and 7 grams of salted egg yolk filling. Add glutinous rice flour to your workplace. Roll the taro filling into a bowl. Then roll the salted egg yolk filling into a bowl too. Take a taro bowl and make it dip well in the middle or you could flatten it into a circle. Insert the salted duck egg yolk filling in the middle, close the top and reshape into a bowl, trying to make sure the egg yolk filling is as centered as possible. Repeat this step for the remaining portions of the filling. Place the balls into a container and freeze this for an hour. Bring out the chilled dough if it is already ready. Weigh out the dough into 25 gram pieces and roll it up. Repeat for all remaining dough but keep some dough also in case the dough cracks in the assembly process. Use a cling wrap to lock in the moisture and set aside the dough if it is ready for use. If not yet for use, then chill it. When the filling is ready, we could now start assembling. Add cake flour to your workplace. Lightly dust wrapper dough balls with flour. Roll out the dough ball into a flat circle like this. Put one ball of this frozen filling at the center of the rolled out dough. Slowly press together to close the opening, covering all surfaces of the filling. Keep the distribution of dough as even as possible, okay? Okay, I'm showing you this Sanrio Stamp Mooncake Mold. I will link it below for you to try it out too. It comes in three parts, the plunger, the barrel to hold the cake, and the decorative disc. I'll first use in our roll, my favorite character. Just insert the stamp into the mold and secure it up like this. Plunge it to test if it is secure. Using a brush, dust mooncake mold with cake floor. Place the assembled dough ball into the mold. With the mold facing upwards, apply gentle pressure to shape the dough ball into the mold barrel. Flip the mold over and press the mooncake down with a plunger. Gently press out the shape of the mooncake out of the mold. Place mooncakes onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Oh my gosh, these cinnamoral mooncakes are so cute! You also have my Melody Top 6 for this year and Hello Kitty at Top 5. Make sure to wait for 3-5 to five seconds when pressing. Always dust the mold before shaping and do not overpress. Now this is Karakaropi at top 7 this year. And an extra stamp from before is this Song Chu Tse written. Prepare the egg wash by whisking together the egg yolk and milk. Brush a thin layer of egg wash onto the top of the mooncakes as placing a lot will make your mooncake design less defined. Afterwards, brush the sides too. 
Now put the mooncakes in a preheated oven and bake for 8 to 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to often check your oven to avoid any cracks. Take the mooncakes out of the oven. Brush a thin layer of egg wash again on both the top and the sides of the mooncakes. Bake for another 3 to 8 minutes until it achieves a golden brown color. Remove mooncakes from the oven. Wow, it's so cute! The mooncakes will look dry at this point, so you have to store the cold mooncakes in an airtight container for a day and the skin will develop a glossy finish just like this mooncake. It is also best to have a timetable for making mooncakes. I recommend 3 days for this. First and second days are allotted to make your fillings. Then on the third day, you could create the wrapper, assemble the mooncake, and bake it. Let's try it out! So I'll try here two of these mooncakes. We have here the Hello Kitty, which is so cute! Right? And then we also have here the cinnamon roll, which is a top one Sanrio character. Let's go! Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so these mooncakes have a wrapper that is very butter, biscuit-like. Then the filling is sweet and salty, so it's a perfect combination. Very smooth and sweet. This is how the mooncakes look like when not yet stored in the chiller for at least a day. The skin is more delicate and cracky. Then the filling is more moist. Mm. To be honest, it's my first time doing this and it turned out to be good. I also haven't seen any recipe with Filipino red salted eggs, so I gave it a shot to combine Filipino and Chinese taste. I like it. I definitely give this as a gift to my family, friends, and my other loved ones. This tradition has been going on for years now, ever since the story of Chang E, the moon goddess, who stole and swallowed the elixir of mortality from her husband named Ho Yi, who is an archer. She stole it because she found out that Ho Yi's apprentices will steal this elixir from him. That's why it forced her to swallow the elixir. This elixir caused her immortality, but it also caused her to float upward and fly towards the moon to avoid the punishment. She lives there alone in the Moon Palace. Every Mid-Autumn Festival, the Chinese people gaze upon the moon, taking off Chang E in her lonely exile on the moon. That's why mooncakes are eaten on this day in honor of her. or Happy Mid-Autumn Festival, Kamis! Before we end this vlog, what do you think about this lava mooncake recipe? Comment down below! If you'd like to try out other types of desserts, I've also posted quick and easy recipes on Shaka Taro Mooncakes, Taro Corn Snow Skin Mooncakes, and also Custard Field Matcha Mochi. I will link these videos in the description below so you can watch that too. Hope to see you again, Kamis, in my next videos on my recipes, restaurant and staycation ratings, travel vlogs, lifestyle, music, and art.